Hey everyone, welcome back to more Pokemon XG Next Gen. Last time we uh, defeated and finished the expert bingos. Today we're going to be doing the very last bingo. That being the extra bingo. I'm assuming this is the last one. Like, I'm, I'm not assuming there's another one after this, but... Uh, it says a uh, rank extra Mythcard Houndoom's chance for glory. That's what it's called, I guess. Um, it seems most logical to start over here, right? So over there, it's a Latias. Now, what is our move? It's psychic. Um, I don't think we're beating this one. We may as well catch it to. Um, Get sort of a feel of the map, you know what I mean? Uh, Latias itself had a dragon move. We're facing off against a lot of, you know, psychic types. Plus one EP, that doesn't sound so bad. An extra Master Ball, sure. I think we'll just go down here. I'll we'll use Mew, Mew for the flying one. Ho oh, oh. Unsure how this will go. Do I want Ho oh? It's probably got Sacred Fire, right? Depends on how much we do. Sacred Fire. Do we want Sacred Fire? It's a good question. It's a really good question, isn't it? I don't know, Hole really doesn't seem that good, but I think we... Like, for the sake of progression, we'll get it right now, but... I'm unsure. It's high special defense is, however, like a good thing. So I think against this one, we will use Latias. Some, uh, Deoxys Defense. Who knows how good that thing will be. We're using Draco Meteor as our move. That's risky. We're def I don't really want to get uh, Deoxys Defense for pretty obvious reasons. Psycho Boost. Yeah, we're winning this for 100%. Deoxys Defense seems pretty hot garbage. Uh, especially with like Psycho Boys, like this thing does no damage very quickly. Oh no, we hurt its shoulder. Yeah, I give the point to Latias. Sure, we'll face off against this psychic type. Mewtwo, alright. I think Latias would have been the better option here, but uh, we don't need Regenerator. Side Strike, don't know how much that does, honestly. A lot of damage. Yeah, honestly, if we had outspeeded, we might have won, but now we don't. So I'm just going to catch it. Very simple as that, so that we don't lose out on AP. And like, hard to say, like, what other direction we'd really go. Over here, this one. Let's use Hobo. Alright, so Mewtwo just seems like a better version of what's his face. Of Mew. So let's use you here. Rayquaza, that's that pretty terrifying. Uh, we're definitely not winning with Ho against you. Who knows? Because we, we do outspeed him, that's like the main thing. We outspeed Rayquaza. 
I didn't ex I did I actually don't know I didn't know Latios was Latios was faster than Rayquaza. Because like I I'm assuming he probably would have one shot us as well. Latios is still quite good, so we'll keep you around. Mew, um, we did, like, Mew would have lost to, uh, Latias R, but, uh, who knows what its moves is. Like, if it's got Transform, we might be screwed. Yeah, that isn't great either. Hmm... This is a better Mew, but uh, we're probably like, unless we crit, I don't think we kill it, right? No, uh, that's our first loss. Um, we probably beat it though with Ho. -Ho. I mean, that's just, I mean, I suppose that's where you just get unlucky. Look, so far we've been able to like. Pass those off of just catching uh, said Pokemon, but this time, this time it's a no. I mean, I sort of should have probably figured that be at least one Ice Beamer in there somewhere. Critical hits. We are absolutely fine. If that was a crit, then yeah, this is pretty solid. Ho isn't even that bad, to be honest. Like, even if it does get a freeze, uh, Sacred Fire just instantly falls us out. Boom! So logically we do this one next. It's a dragon one. Um, initially I'd say Latias would be here, the best here, but this is just a straight up crap shoot between who goes first or not, I think. It is a straight up crapshoot on who goes first. Mm -hmm 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 -hmm. Difficult to say. I'm just kind of thinking, and like, I'm a little afraid none of our opponent or one none of our guys would be able to defeat uh, set. Uh, Guys, except like the only way I can see this working out of it. I don't know if Latios and Latios have the same uh, speed. Like that that's the, the, the big difference, right? Like, like what is Latios' speed stat? I'm gonna look it up honestly. Because that, like that, this it's the difference between like winning and losing. Because um, Latios has a hundred and Latios is a hundred and ten attack uh, speed. Sorry, Latios has a hundred and ten, so they have the same. So it's really just a crapshoot between who gets to kill who. Well, let's hope Mewtwo can pick up a point here, because otherwise we're I think screwed anyways. Jirachi, so we're probably not picking up a point. I think got Doom Desire. Uh, that does make me realize that we can get that one with. It does allow us to get that with Ho the next time around. Yeah, this does absolutely nothing. 
iron head it uses actually. I feel like the question is more, do we get like Mewtwo? We shouldn't get Mewtwo, I think that is a pretty... I, th I think that's probably the choice, just to not get Mewtwo and then inst instead we... Um instead of getting Mewtwo, we just uh, use Latias there. We can make a little quick little look-see on who this is. For instance, this is just Groudon, like that seems like... If he uses Earthquake or Fissure, which I would imagine he uses, then that's just a free win with Hello. Unless it bamboozles us. Like, I'm sure uh, Mewtwo can win some of these matchups, but... He uses Stone Edge, actually. That's good to know. That that means we're not using Hollow against you. Interesting. <clears throat> So this ground is more like this ground is I guess one of the more bait and switch ones. But that Latios is a annoyance because we're far from certain to beating that one. So let's try this again. Let's just use a speed up to just pretty quickly get over to this point. Master Ball, yeah. Yikes. Alright, it does not like to speed up. Like at all. It didn't like the speed up, I guess. Right, so. We're just gonna have to uh, slowly get back to this point. Honestly, I'll probably just cut back to where we were at this point, so I'll see you in a bit. Alright, we're back. We uh, just defeated Jirachi with uh, Holo, obviously. So, uh. Yeah, I actually decided to take the, the same team, mostly because uh, Mewtwo actually does beat Latios and Latias. And because he outspeeds them and outdamages them slightly. Of course, I mean, we're still susceptible to, like, the critical hit and shit, like, shit like that, but... I also actually don't know if Side Strike is physical or special and if it has um, you know what's its face I think we slide we just barely survive I think these uh, second uh, attack but I don't know if it's a hundred percent accurate actually I don't know if side strike is a hundred percent accurate but we should survive this if it's not a critical hit obviously Whew. Barely. Yeah, um, I'd actually like last Latios of Latias to uh, Mewtwo uh, once in like a second attempt, which I just decided to scrap at that point. Because like, you know, there's no real reason to. So here we get one full point, and uh, I think we give it to Latias. Um, I... 
I don't even remember what this one was. This is Groudon, not that much. But then we're left with those three, which... Um, we can go either this way or this direction. This one, we just know what it is, I suppose. Uh, Latios, I... Actually, I, we were using Mewtwo to defeat it. I don't know if Latias actually beats it. I'm just gonna assume it does. Sorry to say, we're not weak to Stone Edge, but it can still crit, but it can also miss. So this one's a little inconsistent in that sense. Um, it's gonna be a free hit on our part, I think. But, I mean, if everything's correct, it's gonna be a free hit on his part as well, so... Alright, alright, alright. I was scared it was going to be a critical hit. Alright, let's finish this off. Boom, Groudon gone. Very nice. So now we go into the unknown, right? We haven't defeated any of these guys, so... Uh, with Jirachi already being gone, like, so far it's only been legendaries, right? So, this should be a Psychic-type legendary, which could be Deoxys, like another form of Deoxys, right? It could be, like, I can't actually think of any of the other Psychic legendaries. Celebi is one of them? So I'm assuming one of these two has got to be Celebi and the other one's got to be Lugia. I don't know, we beat Lugia. Lugia's probably an Aeroblast, right? Lugia might be hard. So like, one of them is Lugia. I'm assuming the other one is Celebi. Um, what other flying legendary is there? Um... I mean, there's the, the, the free, uh, the legendary, I don't think they're going to be used, right? The water one has got to be Kyogre. The flying one, I think we'll use Mewtwo for that. It's Lugia. We get multi-scale though. I'm assuming he's got Aeroblast, but... Yeah, I mean, looking at that... Uh... I've got no clue how to beat this one, though. Although, he doesn't do jack shit either. And we are faster, so... It, 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 it's hard to say, really, isn't it? We might actually win this down to the fact that we're faster. Arrow Strike also only has uh, 5 PP. Okay, never mind. The first hit only did so much because of multi uh, scale. Um, I mean, the crit there didn't matter, but like, it seems like we need one crit in five moves to be able to defeat uh, Lugia there. Or Sacred Fire could potentially work. Um, he's actually not uh, particularly.
Hmm, it does put us in more of a precarious position. Who would beat Kyogre though? Probably Latias, right? So. Hello to the rescue. It's another Mew. Hard to say how this would go. Sucker Punch. I'm not scared of Sucker Punch. Probably means the other one is Celebi. Honestly, a little surprised they didn't throw in a uh, transform mute for like the chaotic reasons. Of course, I'm gonna go on a limb and say Kyogre's just gonna use Water Spout. If it doesn't, we're kind of in trouble. <clears throat> you know, we'll give this point to uh, Holo. And we're gonna just, like, I'm 100% certain this is Kyogre, but it depends on if it uses things like Ice Beam or Water Spout. Water Spout's still really strong, though. Uh, I'm just kind of banking off of the fact that we resist it. And also, like, being able to outspeed him here and, like, weaken his Water Spout instantly would be really nice. Uh, choose a Surf. Rain boosted surf though, so oh, that's a lot of damage still. All right, well I'm less confident than Ladios uh, winning this one now. That critical hit just sealed everything. Holy shit, that's lucky. Ladios would not have won without that critical hit there. I think Mewtwo would have. Oh. I hope he got a critical hit too, but I was going to keep doing less and less damage. Now see, obviously we still need to hit this move because if we don't hit, all right, we hit. If we didn't hit there, I'd have been heartbroken. Yeah, we got insanely lucky to win against Skyogre here. I don't know. I've, I hard to say. Mewtwo doesn't resist surf, so I don't see Mewtwo really winning though. Give one point to Latias, and honestly, Mewtwo still has like a chance of potentially beating Lugia by like just using um, what's his face. Still has a good chance of beating Lugia just from like getting a critical hit on like one of the side strikes. Leaf Storm, yeah, no, we're we're beating Celebi up, uh, no problem sacred fire could help like we could ho -Oh might actually be able to beat lugia based on just like burning it i think sacred fire has a 50 percent chance to burn so That being uh you know what I just realized? Multiscale kind of fucks over Ladias, doesn't it? So, yeah, Lugia. Lugia is probably the most tricky out of the ones to beat. Kyogre definitely wasn't easy either. I think Ho probably has the highest chance of beating Lugia. Aeroblast probably isn't perfect accurate. He is faster though, but you know. 
So he'll get a hit in a uh, quicker than us. He doesn't do a crazy amount of damage. Obviously this was our first shot and we burned it instantly, that's really nice. Air Blast is 100 base uh, power, as opposed to Sacred Fire that has uh, a uh, attack power of 100 as well. So it's the same attack actually. But, I mean, Sacred Fire is physical, so there's that, and we burned it. So really, like, the only thing I think that'll stop us is the fact that he's faster than us, and the fact that uh, he might crit us. Oof, I think we lose. Because of the fact that he outspeeds us. Actually, he doesn't. I don't think he actually kills us in the next turn. Nope, we just win. Booyah! Nice job, ho ho. Ho ho, good. Boom, that's how it's done. We've done the myth card. We get a rare candy, okay. It's not all, you've now cleared all 10 rows from the novice to extra ranks. Congratulations. The one panel mode. This mode makes it more difficult to choose panels for flipping. Oh. Ah, okay, just ask what one battle mode is. Uh, what? I don't understand. I quickly want to look what one battle mode is, because I've never heard of this. We urge you to try the extremely challenging one battle mode. If you, in the center mode, you're allowed to flip over any panel that's next to you. Any uh, flipped over panel. One panel, you may only move to a panel next to the last panel that has been flipped over. It's game over if you can't move. Alright. Um, to be fair, there's nowhere saying that. I don't see anywhere where we can play that mode though. I don't know if that was just something in the old version that was taken out. Yeah, how do I play? Well, I mean, I'm not really that interested in the... Uh, what's his face? interested in the one battle mode so to speak so there's really just um now that we've cleared bingo which like yeah we you know we're, uh, kind of a long extra side quest but i actually quite enjoyed the battle bingo myself i don't know about you guys but um yeah what is up next is uh, one last little thing which yeah for those wondering next episode will be the finale as I said there's one thing to do, but there's basically two two more things to do. So, obviously the last two things to do, uh, which probably happen both next episode, is the uh, purification of the final couple Pokemons and the uh, final battle in Mount Battle, right? You know, when it comes to the Shadow Pokemon Raider, like as you can, I'll just kind of show you on the PDA. We have purified most Pokemons, and uh, there's only a couple uh, left for me to uh, finish. I think Alakazam is, I think, the only one that's not ready to be purified. Yeah, so uh, next episode, uh, in the finale of Pokemon XG, we will be purifying the last Shadow Pokemons, and... Uh, 
yeah, I'm doing the final battles in Mom Battle. So if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the finale. Goodbye.